Good morning, Cash. My name is David, and I'm here with your weather. Uh, we'll have a high of 28 and a low of 1, and it'll be partly cloudy. Before school, it'll be 21 degrees. After school, it'll be 26, and it'll be cloudy. And don't forget, today is National Compliment Day. So compliment somebody. And yeah, back to see you TV after this break. What's up, Cats on Piers? And I'm Richard. And today's news, this day 34 of the personal government shutdown. According to CNN.com, here are some surprising impacts of the government shutdown. Low-income moms and their kids may not get nutritional assistance. Science experiments could be spoiled. Native tribes can't get funding. People are getting paid, are not getting paid and are being laid off. The backlog of the immigration cases is getting bigger, and couples in Washington, D.C. can't get a marriage license. Trash and human waste are piling up in national parks. For more information about the government shutdown, please go to CNN.com. Your two student athletes of the week are Jared Hankins and Janiah Harden. Hankins, a senior, led the, led the Wildcats with 23 points in the win over North Central on Friday night. An honor, roll, an honor roll student, Hankins has signed with Indiana State and will play for the Sycamores next year. Harden, a freshman, has embraced the team's motto of working to be great now. Both on the, on the chair mat and in the classroom, she was also on the uh, honor, roll, roll, ah, honor roll this semester. Congratulations, Jared and Janiah. Boys basketball, number eight Wildcats in the state, 10-4 and 1-2 Mick beat North Central, 76-53, behind a balanced scoring attack from Jared Hankins, Tony Perkins, DJ Hughes, and Shamar Avance. The Wildcats will travel to Mick Conference for Central Grove on Friday night, January 25th. Girls basketball, 12 Wildcats in the state, 16-5 and 4-2 and and in the Mick. Lost a hard-fought game to number one Hamilton Southeastern, 56-45. to Jayla Smith led the team with 21 points. The girls will be finishing the regular season at home against Mick Rival Center Grove for senior night on Friday, January 25th. The, um, the tournament draw was announced on Sunday night and the Wildcats will play the winner of North Central and Warren Central. Swimming and diving. Swimming and diving. The team had the week off from competition in order to train for JV Winter Invitational on Saturday. The girls varsity squad will be in action at North Central for the IHSAA sectional on January 31st and the boys team will travel to North Central for a dual meet on January 29th. The wrestlers beat Anderson on senior night 38 to 30. Multiple seniors were recognized for a great season. Good job seniors. Thanks for all your hard work, your hard work and dedication to LN. We will be right back after a commercial break. Listen up, all Best Buddies Associate members and peer buddies, there will be a mandatory meeting today at 835 in room 165. Please plan on attending since it, it is mandatory. Also, our next event will be bowling on Wednesday, February 6th. Why miss? How much is bowling if you have any questions? Please see Ms. Wyler. Are you a creative individual who wants a way to express your creativity and you're looking for a creative hobby? then you're looking for a creative writing club. This brand new club will meet every Tuesday and Wednesday after school from 4 to 5 in Miss Downs room 239. The 2019 Lawrence North High School Talent Show is coming up 
The talent show will be held March 14th. There will be a cash prize for the top two contestants. With first place winning, there will be an online sign-up form. So consider if you want to join and show off your skills in anything you're special at. Also, consider who and what you'll need for your talent. Basketball schedule. On Saturday, 20, on Saturday, January 26th and February 2nd, all teams will play three, yes, three games each day. Yes, old guys on, on faculty, three games. Games will start at 8 a.m. with the last game starting at 10.30 a.m. The new schedules can be picked up outside of the athletic office. That's all we have for you today. And have a great day. And go catch. Go catch.